With the purchase of a qualifying Intel processor, SSD, or NUC, you could instantly win an Intel gaming jersey and be entered in the draw for the ultimate system. Click now to learn more. Welcome to a bit of an impromptu late night vlog. I've got a Core i7 or something K, whatever. The point is it's an LGA 2011 chip here that is perfectly good, but unfortunately isn't booting in this X79 Deluxe ASUS board. And it's not the fault of the board. Somehow, at some point, I hope you guys can see it here, but right there, there is a bent pin. Now the advantage to LGA chips is that the CPUs themselves are much less fragile than they used to be, but back when pins were on the bottom of CPUs or on AMD CPUs where they still are, it was a lot easier to repair them and you could even use little tricks like uh, putting the stub of the pin or even another piece of metal into a socket and as long as it would make contact, a lot of the time you could get your CPU working again. Well, LGA 2011 repair is a lot trickier. So we're gonna give it a shot here. Let's see how much I can zoom in and show you guys that damaged spot right in the middle of the frame there. There's one pin that's either broken or bent. It's hard for me to even tell. So I've got my tools handy here. First up is a standard pin or needle. You're gonna want one that's reasonably fine. Okay, I got a pink one. Second is you're gonna want some kind of a magnifying glass so you can actually see what you're doing. And then third is you are going to want an excellent light source. So in my case, I'll be going with an iPhone propped up between the PCI slot, E slots. So here we go. Now the way these pins work is they're kind of like little springs. So uh, here you can see that they actually have a flat portion. Let me just see if I can even get in there. They have kind of a flat portion here at the bottom and then they end in a little ball at the end. Now it looks like what's happened to our pin here after closer examination with the magnifying glass is the ball on the end has broken off, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily done for. We may be able to bend the pin back into a position where the rest of it, so not the pad at the end, but the rest of it, the stump of it, can make contact with the pad on the bottom of the CPU. So that's gonna be our goal here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use very delicately this pin, being careful not to damage the ones around it. Mind you, if we do, it's a dead board already. Um, although I think ASUS can do socket repair for a fee, but this is an engineering sample board, so there's no warranty. So uh, we're just gonna kinda go for the gusto here, and uh, we're going to try to bend that pin into such a position that it can make contact with its corresponding pad on the bottom of the CPU here. So I think I got it by, uh, cause the, the pin has a couple of kinks in it, so it kind of goes this way, and then back, and then up to the head. So what I did was, because we're missing the head now, is I, I bent it up, and then I bent this one up a little bit. So hopefully, that stub of the pin is now in the same position where the head would have been, so it can make contact. Now you can see it still looks a little funny, but uh, the only way to know for sure, unfortunately, is to fire up a CPU and find out if she posts. Now this isn't the kind of thing that I actually recommend doing because I have no way of guaranteeing that you wouldn't kill your CPU by doing it, but uh, hey, this is Linus Tech Tips, so we like to live dangerously. All right, so it's moment of truth time. I've gone ahead and uh, built up a test bench here. Hopefully I wired it all up correctly. Let's just see what happens. Okay, there we go. So it is powering up, but this was normal. We expected that. Let's see if we get anything on the display. No way. Ha! Got it. Look at that. Core i7-4930K. New CPU installed. It worked. We got it. Well, uh, there you go, guys. As, uh, as ghetto as the methodology may have been, that is how I go about fixing pins on LGA sockets. I've actually done it a number of times. Uh, this one I had already worked on for about uh, 15 minutes before I tried it tonight, but that was when I had a much thicker pin um, and I also didn't really have a great light source. and I didn't have a magnifying glass, so I was able to do a bit of a better job this time. 
and uh, we've got it up and running. So that's fantastic. Salvaged a motherboard, like three hundred dollar motherboard. Sure beats, uh, sure beats buying a new one. So thanks for watching, guys. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see for future videos or whatever it is you want to leave comments about on videos on YouTube. Make your voice be heard. And uh, guys, check out the links in the video description. So there's a link to our sponsor. There's a link for where you can support us. So you can give us a monthly contribution. You can buy a cool t-shirt. Not like the one I'm wearing. I'm wearing some other random t-shirt. Normally I wear a t-shirt for these. And you can change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code. So whenever you buy diapers or something. Sorry, I've got babies on the brain. Just got a new baby. Uh, so whenever you buy whatever it is you buy on Amazon, we get a small kickback. It helps us out a lot. Thanks again for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.